16 minutes past the hour right now. Two years ago today, a devastating tornado wiped out almost the entire town of Greensburg, Kansas. We were there on the first anniversary, and we just returned recently to see how the town and the residents who stayed are doing. In this economy, construction may have slowed across the country, but Greensburg, Kansas has all the buzz of a boom town. What it's becoming is such an inspiration and powerful. It's amazing. You miss a week and a dang new house goes up. Things have happened so quickly and, you know, we are thankful for that. Thankful because just two years ago, Greensburg was in ruin. Oh An F5 category tornado with winds exceeding 300 miles per hour wiped 95% of Greensburg off the map. Everything that you knew, everything that you held on to material wise was just gone. Your home, your security, your foundation, just gone with the wind, literally. New homes now line Greensburg's once empty streets. 184 have been built since the storm. Most of them eco-friendly and energy efficient. This home is 5,000 square foot with basement and upper floor. Our other house was half that size and our utility bills have been a third of what they were before the tornado. Such success bodes well for the city that's branded itself the greenest in America. I think about Greensburg, Kansas, a town that was completely destroyed by a tornado but is being rebuilt by its residents as a global example of how clean energy can power an entire community. Despite the rebuilding, Greensburg still has major challenges ahead. Half the town never returned after the tornado, leaving just 800 residents here today. What do you do to grow this town again? Because all this sustainable stuff around you can't thrive without more people. And that's the unique challenge we're having right now. The town whose restoration got off to such a quick start is now forced to wait, waiting for industry and the jobs that come with it. And until then, Greensburg will sustain itself on those who remained. If they had just decided to all move away, all these fancy projects we got going wouldn't mean a thing. So to me, it's about the people. It is a remarkable community with incredible people who continue to be focused on not only surviving, but thriving. And one of the things they're really concentrating on is making it a tourist destination, not only an example for the rest mm -hmm. of the country, mm -hmm. but so people will come in and say, look at what is happening here, because it's fascinating to take a tour of this yeah. city and see what looks like something from science fiction, which is actually taking place. It's amazing. How are our buddies doing there? Because we had such a great time there last year where you guys were there for a week. I was there for a couple of days. How, how's, how are folks doing? There's a combination of great optimism, hope, work, struggle, frustration, all those things you think will, will take place have. Mm -hmm. It's a drama, of course, that's unfolding on a reality series on Planet Green, and mm. of course, you can watch it unfold, uh, but there's great energy and great oh, hope yeah. for what lies ahead. We felt that even a year ago when we were there. Yeah. yeah.